You know, this is Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. You know, the only thing I really want to say on this particular video is it's really sad that when, if I were to have a juicy disaster video, oh, that thing could, could really fly out there. Or um, if I talked about some devastation that was going to happen to America, or President Obama, or California, or New York, or one of the major cities or metropolises, and, and I saw visions of bombs and, and helicopters and armies and, and military. I mean, the list can go on. I could come up with all these different disasters, or, or one of my YouTube viewers could come up with a a, a, a disaster dream or horrific uh, vision. Boy, everybody wants to see that. But you read God's word, and it seems like I'm, I'm not. Yeah, I guess I'm fussing. It seems like there's so little hunger for His word. When I look at all of my videos, I've got about 212 videos total. The ones that get all the big hits, all the big views, I mean immediate, instant success, disaster visions, disaster dreams, or something horrific that happened to someone. But when you deal with day-to-day -day truth, things that God feeds us to enable us to live a holy life, to, en to enable us to develop character, sound doctrine, there's not much interest in that. There are some things that have been at a very low amount of views because they're not hot and juicy. Do you realize what that says about us saints? I'm not talking any different. I'm the same person. It's not like one. I'm talking monotone and half asleep. They're all about the same. It's the same person delivering them. But there seems to be an exuberance about the dramatic, about the uh, blood and guts. Something going wrong. Ooh. What's that going to be? Almost like juicy gossip. Oh, we'll turn up in spades for it. But when it comes to the word of God, there are times when God, I feel led to just read his word. And I know every time I do it, those particular videos are going to sit at below 100 for almost a year. It doesn't say too much for us as far as our hunger. Because we know all of us don't get in that word every day like we should. But when someone is actually reading it to us, and I'm not going blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to read that baby so it really makes sense. I know that there's a lack of hunger. It's, I think that's what the Bible means when it says there's a famine in the land. Sometimes in a famine, you not only have a shortage of food, but when people have been malnourished for years, sometimes there's a lack of hunger. And that's what causes people to die as well. I'm going to leave you with that note. Merry Christmas.